that we got plenty of time. k at last yeah we finally did it guys 3k and i have all of you to thank because without you i would not have reached this milestone i'd like to thank my family specifically my wife for putting up with this hobby of mine i'd also like to thank my kids especially zach because he provides comic relief to my videos as you know and i just want you to know that i still love you despite the fact that you have already made my camera fall on the ground a few times Oh. I'd like to also thank my peers in this succulent and xeriscaping niche. In particular, I'd like to mention Alex of Windowsill Succulent Gardening, Succulent Living by Mariha, Anna Marie of Soul Sugar Succulent, Sheila of Succulent Fame, that guy from Vegged Out, I'm sorry I've never got your name man, Retro Ray, Iza Zidlauska, I'm not sure if I got your name right, Track Nguyen, Ashley Glassman, Olga of Olga's Dreamland, Pumpkin Becky, Sucks for you. And of course, I have to mention the bigger channels like Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity and Lynn of Desert Plants of Avalon. You guys have been huge influences on me. I'd also like to welcome some of the newer guys like JC of Succulent PH, Kenneth Ngo of Succulent Haven, Jan and AZ of the Balcony Gardeners, Given to Grow. There's, a, there's several other channels that I may have forgotten, but Thank you to you as well. Reaching this milestone has made me realize that this thing is a lot bigger than myself, even more so than in my previous milestones. And because of that, I want to give more. I'm thinking of putting out more of the educational content. And this is great timing because, as you know, the summer has already ended here in Australia and we are heading into autumn and winter. This means that over the next few months, our days will be getting shorter and that directly affects my shooting schedule. Right now, as you know, I'm publishing Let's Plant twice a week. That's my, every Monday and Thursday, my time. That's fine right now, but as the days get shorter, I won't have enough time to film. So I need to work on other stuff that does not require daylight. This got me thinking that maybe more lecture type or educational content would help fill the void. So if I don't get to film as much as I used to do with Let's Plant, then I would need to reduce the frequency of the Let's Plant videos. So I was thinking that maybe I could put them out once a week and for the rest of the week, I'll be working on other content. I got lots of other content planned. So I, there's a bunch of series in my head that I want to put out. So again, this is a very good chance and a very good time to act on those concepts. And while it, it's a bit sad that I would have to wind down my Let's Plant series for a bit over winter, this made me realize that, hey, it's my turn to relax now and watch your videos. So I highly encourage you, especially you guys in the Northern Hemisphere, please start your own Let's Plant videos. I would like to see you guys gardening, you know? Because it feels weird me watching my own videos. I still cringe every time I watch my older videos because Ugh. But yeah, I think it would be fun if I could see things from your perspective. So, your own Let's Plant videos and I'll be interested in watching. If you do decide to start on it, then please let me know. Give me the links. Maybe pop it in the comments. Because I'd be, I'd be really interested in following your progress. You know? So, until the next videos, bye.